This is a Husqvarna lawnmower that's having trouble starting. It's a model number HU775H. The trouble I had is just took it out of storage and it wasn't starting. So initially thought I had a fuel issue or a carburetor issue. And when I put the spark tester on the plug, found out I had no spark. So started to look into the ignition coil. When I unplugged the safety kill wire from the coil, the mower starts right up. So I know the coil is good and I know there's not a carburetor issue. So we're gonna troubleshoot and see if we got a problem somewhere in the uh, safety system. So a lot of times what could be happening is we're not getting the proper travel on this cable. This is the cable that you hold down when the motor's running and it's a safety cable when you release it it goes back this way and it kills the motor it grounds the uh, ignition call and kills the motor and what we're doing is not getting enough travel you can see where it's traveling some see how it's kind of rough also it's kind of rough moving so we're going to take this apart here get to it where we can see it so i either have a problem with this cable not pulling it far enough it could be that the cable is stretched or partially broken inside. Uh, it could also be the switch itself. We'll see when we get in, get inside of it. But we're going to go in here and see if it's that or if it's actually the, the wire that goes from the switch to the ignition call could be grounded out somewhere also. We're going to go ahead and take this off, see if we can get to the switch and, and this trace out this wire, make sure it's not grounded somewhere. So we're going to take this off. Might have to take the gas tank off too. And the top two were 12 millimeters and apparently the bottom bolt is a 10. Okay, with those three bolts out, we can just work the gas tank over here and keep it out of our way. And now we can, we can get to all the parts that are over here. We're going to test this bar right here. It comes out back through here, connects here. We're going to see if this is shorting out anywhere. I don't think it is. I got a quick tester here that checking ohms. So you can see the needle moves to zero ohms when, I mean, you know, this, this wire is not broken, it's connected both sides. So if it's shorting out somewhere, I should be able to just touch either side and touch something else that's grounded and see if uh, it's open. So the wire is not shorting out anywhere. Now, you can see that with the handle in the unrunning position, so the handle that you're cutting the grass with, is there's nobody holding it right now. And that shorts out this wire and shorts out the coil. So if I touch right here where the wire was and touch the motor, anything that you can see that it's grounded, it's connected, so it's grounded out. I'm gonna take a clamp and hold the handle down. Okay, I'm moving the, the handle. This position would be in if you're cutting grass and I have it clamped down. So now let's check again between this connection and the, and the motor again. You see in that position it's not grounded. So let's move the cable far enough that the engine should start. So with the handle pulled back, you can see and the reason it's not grounded out anymore, it's pulled this lever far enough from, from the engine that it, it's not connected anywhere. And that's what's killing. When this touches here, it kills the engine. So we gotta make sure that that clamp is pulling it. The clamp I have on the handle is pulling it far enough. We're gonna check it again here and see if it pulls it far enough with just my hand. Okay, you can see it's resting against and touching the motor. Makes the 
the flywheel a little bit harder to turn and that's grounding us out right now. So I pull it apart. I got to make sure I have clearance and I can see that there is clearance right here, barely. Okay, what happens as this cable pulls to the left here, it pivots and pulls the connection here away from the motor. I'll show you. See how it, when it goes to the left, you're pulling this away from the motor. So to give you just a hair more clearance, I took this lever right here and I bent it to the right a little bit so when the cable travels, it'll be pulling it just a hair further away from the contact point. And that should be good enough to uh, solve our problem. We should be able to start up. So we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. Okay, we're ready to crank it. These mowers, uh, they're excellent mowers and uh, they'll crank on one or two cranks. So let's see what she does. It looked like that's what my problem was. It was grounding out because when I was pulling the handle back, it wasn't traveling far enough to release the uh, the grounding clip off of the engine. And that was grounding out the ignition coil and not providing a spark. So if you got a problem, it's not always uh, an assumption I made wrong was assuming that it was a fuel problem because it was just coming out of uh, storage. And really it was more of a mechanical issue with the grounding of the ignition coil. I hope this video helped you. Please do me a big favor. Hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.